What inspired you to start this project in the first place? Well, quite simply, going into a prison. I don't know. Have you ever been into a prison? I haven't. No, well, most people haven't, luckily enough. Though we have the largest prison population in Europe, we're edging up towards the 90,000 mark at the moment, which is deeply shocking. Mm. We have accommodation for just over 74,000. So you can imagine the overcrowding in many prisons. Um, I went into a, a prison which is now called HMP Northumberland. It was then a youth offenders prison and a adult prison. It's now been subsumed into one prison of nearly 1,400 men. But I spent a day there. I was going to take up a role in Northumberland where I knew I'd be given a, a guided tour. And uh, I had a mate who happened to be a chaplain. And I said, can I just come in and spend a day with you? And that Dan must have spoken to about 300 men. And the one thing they all said when I asked them what would stop you coming back to prison was work. And I realised there were good things going on in the prison and good things going on outside the prison. But there has to be a bridge between the two. And in spite of lots of very good efforts of a number of people, the bridge wasn't really being, wasn't a solid structure this bridge of opportunity. 